So who are you drawing first? Let me have a pair. I'm going to draw oh. who I'm drawing. I know that's Tracy. It's the smile. Don't is it, even it's need normally the hair, the hair that um, is the giveaway. She's our lucky character because that's how we met, isn't it? It is, yes. I don't know if it was an actual suit you were wearing, but it, it was certainly something quite dark and sombre. Mm. I do remember thinking, well, I do like him, but I really want kind of wacky illustrations, really zany illustrations, because that's the sort of kid that Tracy Beaker is. And I don't know, I, I leant down to, to find a hanky in, in my handbag and I got a glimpse of your socks, absolutely startling <laughs> canary yellow socks. And so I thought, yeah, he's OK. He's, he's my man. And my goodness, how right I was. <laughs> I always find it extraordinary, though, that right from Tracy, the very first one of my characters, it's almost as if you got inside my head and seen the way I see them. And then if I had your talent, that is the way I would draw them. Well, you're very kind, but you always give me lots of information in the, in the text. Tracy was the first um, children's novel that I'd ever illustrated, so I was really grateful for your instructions. Oh, it was, it you're made very it... tactful, Nick. <laughs> no, honestly, I am, and they were really good suggestions yeah. as well. I really like drawing Tracy Beaker because I've drawn her so, so many times. In fact, the next character I'm going to draw, um, Hetty Feather, I really like too. I know you're very fond of plaits, mm -hmm. aren't you? <laughs> and I'm not fond of drawing them. They're so complicated. I always need to have a practice because have they go... Have you ever platted a, a, any, any of your I nieces? I can plait. Yeah. I do know how to plait. But when I come to drawing them, there's something that's so... I can never just remember how it goes. So Half I literally have to plait a drawing. I'm not getting it right there. <gasps> I'll do my best. And of course, we have to imagine them bright red. Yes. Almost every child that writes me a letter copies some of your illustrations. Right. And they're very sophisticated drawings, but they are child friendly. So most children don't feel too inhibited. They can have a stab. Yes, at, at no, doing I, them I, themselves. I, I like that very much when they. They often, well, they're often much better than my drawings when I get sent drawings from children. I used to have quite a complicated method where I would draw them quite large because you know the picture of Tracy Beaker is about this big, isn't it? It's a big picture. And that was because I was drawing in charcoal to get the kind of quality of line that I wanted. And that meant I had to draw quite large. And then I would have to fix it with fixative, which is horrible stuff. It's, um, you know, it smells ghastly and is very, it's quite laborious trying to fix charcoal drawing. So I'd do that, and then I would paint them with, with bright coloured inks. But the, it was a funny process to do, but it, it gave my work a certain look. So yeah. I think children are very easily able to, to recognise a cover when I've done the illustration, as well as the fact that I, I tend to do the lettering as well. Mm -hmm. But I do use a computer for my colours now. Um, so my bottles of ink are all drying up, yeah. I'm afraid. You're drawing Queenie. You now, are cats and so good cats at have, doing cats. have crept into your books more and more, haven't well, they? Since, since I got Jacob four years ago, and now I've got Lily too, I think there's going to be a cat in every book. I have turned mm -hmm. into mad cat woman. And um, Queenie is just the most glorious big white fluffy cat. Now, I'm just trying to remember all the details for this character. So I know she has very distinctive tartan. Ah, boots. That's my she? Marty, who's a, a a really dynamic little tomboy girl, with a thing about cartoons, and she makes up Super Mart, That's right. <laughs> who does everything that Marty would like to do. How many books is it now that we've done together? Um, I think we're approaching fifty. Wow! I know How many books in total is it for you that you've written? Um, you're coming up to your hundred. Yes, the Opal Plumstead, which hopefully, if I can get it finished, <laughs> will be out in October, um, will be the 100th book. You've got about two-thirds now. So have, have you have. done the cover? I've yet? been thinking about the cover, and um, the girl in the book uh, goes to work in a sweet factory, so instantly I thought that the sweets would be a very appealing cover image and quite decorative. So I'm, at the moment I'm playing around with our heroine and 
thinking, how can I combine the title, a picture of, of, of the girl, and um, some sort of border made up of decorative suites. Oh, and, perfect. But how many, I don't know how many characters I've illustrated for you well, now. It's so weird, isn't it? It, it's, it's it must be, if it's remember. coming up for 100 books, I mean, it, it must be a thousand characters, because there, there's a... Uh, Yes, I at mean, least, at least two, well, there's more, you know, there's usually at least a family per book, isn't there? So that would be three or four characters. All right, so let's draw Melissa. I think she, she wears T-shirts too, but they are more pink and sparkly yeah. than I think than I Melissa, think than, uh, Marty Marty's. says caustically she, she always has uh, something like a kitten or a bunny on her T-shirts. That's right, yes. Your... Um, incredibly disciplined about writing aren't you you write every single day every single day did even, you even well i'm write sad on christmas yes day. i did yes i did <laughs> i just got out half an hour early i mean i don't write much yeah. between 500 and 1000 words that, but that that's sounds it. like a lot to me uh, it's as normal to me as getting up and cleaning my teeth and having a bath and having mm. breakfast it's just a great start to the day and then even if i'm doing something entirely different all the way through the day i can feel at least i've done a bit of work which means that it is possible to do at least two books a year, yes. which, you know, feels great. Yes, yes. And hopefully, Nick, you will carry on illustrating I them hope so too. year I after hope year. So too. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, that so. looks gorgeous. <laughs>